In this example, small signal stability analysis will be carried out for the transmission system network using the modal analysis tool. The study case O4 small signal stability should be activated together with the scenario base scenario. For small signal stability analysis, Power Factory provides a modal analysis tool. This calculates the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of a network, including, of course, all controllers and power plant models. If all the electromechanical eigenvalues have negative real parts, we can say that the oscillations are damped, indicating system stability. The modal eigenvalue analysis toolbox should be selected, and this icon is used to open the command dialog. The initial conditions command can be accessed here. We will use the default settings as shown. As the calculation time for a large system can be quite long, Power Factory offers two computation methods, the QRQZ method, which considers all modes, and the selective modal analysis method, which calculates a limited number of modes within a previously identified frequency range, thereby reducing computation time. For this small network, we will use the QRQZ method. On the algorithm page, these options have been selected so that for each oscillatory mode, information about the state variables can be examined. Left eigenvectors enable us to identify the controllability, that is, the contribution of a variable to the activity of a particular mode. Right eigenvectors enable us to identify the observability, that is, the degree of activity of a variable when a particular mode is excited. The participation factors measure the relative participation of a variable in the mode. On the results page, we can see that only oscillatory modes will be recorded. The command is executed. This icon can be used to generate a plot. Let us select Eigenvalue Plot only considering oscillatory modes. Stable modes will be marked on the plot in green. Unstable modes, that is, any which have a positive real part, will be shown in red. In this case, all the associated modes are stable. The results can also be presented in tabular format using this icon. The first columns represent the definition of the eigenvalue. Additional information about the damping is shown in the remaining columns. We're only interested in those where the absolute value of the damping ratio is less than 10%, so we can use a filter to show just these. Then we can sort the results to show the worst case. From here, it's possible by right-clicking on the row to generate plots for an individual mode. Let's create a polar plot of participation to look at the contributions of the generators. There are other options for seeing the results graphically. Firstly, we can see that double-clicking on an individual mode will bring up detailed information about that mode and right-clicking gives access to options for creating an individual plot as we did before. Where modes lie close together, they're identified as a group. Double-clicking will bring up the list of modes and another double-click can be used to see the details of any one mode. Individual plots can also be generated from here. An alternative to generating individual plots for all modes of interest is to create a linked plot.
This shows the results for whichever mode is currently selected. And if we now move to a group of modes, we can use the mouse scroll button to step through all the plots for the group. A further possibility on the icon value plot is to show more than one set of results for comparison. Let's suppose that a large generator is no longer available. We would like to see the impact that this will have on system stability. First, we'll save a copy of the current results. Now we'll switch off the generator and run the analysis again. The two sets of results could be shown together on the plot. We can now see the differences resulting from the loss of the generator. And of course, the linked plot can be used to see these differences in more detail.